And joining me for tonight's bulletin is a sign language interpreter, Meresha Owiti. Meresha, thank you so much. Now, as Christmas Day celebrations continue across the country, traders have required low sales during this festive season, even as Kenyans throng a different entertainment establishment to mark Boxing Day. Gloria Milemo takes a look at how the situation was across the country. For many, the Christmas Day celebrations continue. On this Boxing Day, for majority who perhaps chose not to travel up country, the newly revamped Uhuru Park offered a perfect getaway to unwind with family and friends. Whereas the day is synonymous with merrymaking, for traders, it offered a perfect opportunity to capitalize on the huge traffic of people. It was not business as usual this year. They say the sales have dipped, as most Kenyans did not spend as they had projected. The whole day. They faulted the low sales compared to previous years to the harsh economic times. Last year was more better kuliko this year. Traders in Kajada County also had their fair share of dwindling sales during this period. What do I want to do? I school fees. Kwa hivyo, kidogo hali ya uchumi pandei ni mbaya. Kwa sasa wengi na kwa watu wengi. Kwa hivyo Christmas ya mwaka huu, the situation wasn't looking any better in the lakeside city of Kisumu, where residents thronged Dunga Beach for the celebrations. They decried the high cost of living that has plummeted the Christmas spirit. Kwa Kenya saa hii pesa hakuna, tuliona tukuje huku, juu tulikuwa tunaleta watoto, tunaona ni bay cheap, tukipanda boat. For residents of the border town of Sirare in Miguri County, the neighboring country offered an opportunity to keep the Christmas spirit alive. They say the harsh economic times in the country forced them to observe the day in Tanzania. Asilimia kubwa wa Kenya wametoka upanda ule wa Kenya wamekuja upanda wa Tanzania. Kuangalia kwamba hali kaharisi ya kimaisha mambo ya mebadilika kabisa. As much as the situation wasn't promising in the coastal city of Mombasa compared to the previous years, the residents did not allow the current economic situation to dampen their celebrations as they turned out in their numbers for the annual Mombasa International Festival that seeks to showcase the country's cultural diversity and talent among the youth. Tunaomba vijana wengi na wakazi wote wa Pwani na Kenya waweze kujitokeza ili waweze kujua utamaduni wetu wa hapa Mombasa na vile vile kukuza uchumi wa vijana wa hapa Mombasa wanaofanya biashara ndogo ndogo. Tunachowaomba wa Kenya wenzetu watakapokuja waangalie zile taratibu na kanuni za hapa. Tunafahamisha kwamba unywaji wa pombe bado unakatazwa katika bustani hii. Kwa hivyo tuangalie tusije tukaingia katika